everyone, thanks for clicking on this video. It is late at night, and what did I said to do? Take all my gear out. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to show you guys a little bit of everything I got. Full disclosure, there is still a lot more gear in my closet, and there's a lot more gear at my campsite. But what I have relatively easy to get to, I decided I'll show it off. All right, starting off, we have camera equipment down here. We have a GoPro. We have a GoPro. Uh, I'm shooting this on my Nikon. We have a solar panel. We've got two multi tools, a battery bank, a bunch of Coast flashlights. I love Coast. Uh, that right there is an emergency uh, do it yourself first aid kit that I made. Down below that, we have wood carving tools. That is an SE folder knife. We have my bow drill that I use quite a bit. More batteries. GoPro accessories, which I have a lot more. Uh, moving our way over here, we have a a little oven if I need to uh, cook in my vehicle or something like that. Followed up by the uh, Boreal 21 Agua Canyon saw, a more knife, uh, another knife, some Hidden Woodsman gear. There we go. Hidden Woodsman gear. Another hidden woods, hidden woods main sack underneath that cast iron pan that has a plate and some um, underneath underneath that cast iron pan is my little twig stove. There's a plate inside that cast iron pan. Uh, we have some of these wood sticks I get from Paul Corona with black and white fire stars. They're the Sherpa sticks. Uh, down here I have a bunch of ferro rods just kind of scattered all over through there some more fire tin tinder uh, I have my headphones that can actually magnify sound Which I like putting those on at night just to hear uh, all the sounds in the woods uh, Over here we have about four or five uh, Inu hammocks We have my micro micro light LL bean tent of course we have my Panagonian day rock sack uh, hidden woodsman logo there Joe Robinette logo uh, we have a 22 piece camp set uh, with all the stuff inside there I didn't want to take all that stuff out I haven't opened that box up yet that's for a uh, upcoming video we have a two mantle propane lantern that puts out about 810 looms we have a four Four person tent. We have my National Guard uh, wool blanket. Uh, we have a Cedar Ridge and a uh, Kelty self inflating sleeping pad. Over here we have a Baofang uh, CB ham radio. We have an Ascend and a Titan sleeping bag. One is for summer, which is the Ascend. The Titan is my winter sleeping bag. It is a really plush uh, negative 15 degree rating and then we have uh, a few tarps back there uh, this one right here is a DD a DD tarp by DD tarp and hammocks uh, we have a bushcraft book we have a bunch of paracord there's my paracord belt which I will be showing you guys how to make in an upcoming video uh, Sawyer squeezy mini water filtration hidden woodsman uh, if I back it back up over here, we got our wood carving tools, multi tool, the Boreal 21, a machete, which I don't remember the brand of, uh, this random sword that uh, someone gave me, a subscriber. We have a Colin's five pound, uh, I want to say it's roughly about two, three feet long axe. We have this new guy that I just got recently. This is the Cold Steel Special Forces. Uh, this uh, this shovel is known as very well known for uh, Zachary Fowler, who won season three of Alone, who lasted 87 days. We have my Gransburg Brooks small forest axe. We have some seasoning inside a skillet pan that is dirty. Uh, it's got some markings on it. We got a few pots, zebra pots, a Joe Robinette pot. All my fishing tackle gear. Uh, there is a cast net. That it, that little thing right there is some peanut butter and jelly. 
a whole bunch of it as long as you can see all these MREs back here um, there's a five gallon jug uh, that I use for water if I'm in a place that doesn't have any kind of water source and I want nice clean water uh, there's a glove um, I'm sure I'll probably be forgetting a lot of stuff here <clears throat> Um, also, do me a favor real quick. I will be teaming up with Rolling Homestead Wild Edibles, which is my good buddy Mark. We're going to be doing a seven-day Sub-Zero Winter Challenge, uh, along with Chris Thorne with Drop Forge Survival. Uh, I will put those links in the description down below. Definitely check them out. You're not going to want to miss this because this is going to be one of the most epic series to come on YouTube. So, we will see you guys later. Right here is my crock pot that I'll be using in a catch and cook video here soon. To try and get some crawl daddies uh, right over here. Which, there we go. Uh, so there's a, a Kelty hiking bag. This is very old. I've had this thing forever. Uh, it is a framed bag. And of course my Alps Outdoor 2 bag. That's got... Uh, everything I need for winter camping because I need to bring a lot more. I've got two fishing poles over there, a chair. I have a bunch more of those. Um, and then let's try to get last but not least outdoor 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 uh, bag right here. This thing stuff with sleeping bags and uh, pretty much for a solo overnighter. I don't hardly ever use that. Uh, my tripod that I didn't even use for this video but yeah there, like I said this is maybe a quarter of what I have here at my house so I hope you guys like it uh, if you guys want me to do more detail on this maybe take everything outside and show you guys that's probably a lot better than trying to do this at 10 o'clock on Christmas Eve so uh, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, remember to hit that like button share this out if you can uh, give me your feedback I had to switch my lens out so there you guys go